Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a virtual machine, macOS, in Windows on an AMD processor. A lot of people fail to do this because as you can see if you go into VirtualBox and I have right here, I have macOS 13 Ventura and as you can see whenever you try to start it, it says powering VM up and it will say right here efill i console console wrap and that is the fail that many people get that you can't fix especially for amd processors so this is one of the only ways that i found how to install mac os so first what you're going to need is a working web browser so as you can see i have a working web browser right here so you're going to search in VMware Workstation. And as you can see, whenever you're right here, VMware Workstation, you're going to go here, and you're going to press Workstation 17 Pro for Windows. And you're going to press Download Now. And you can also get Workstation Player, which this right here is, you can also download that, but we're going to be doing it on the Pro version today. You're going to press Open File, Yes, and then Yes. And as you can see, you have to go through the installation process that it tells you, and eventually you'll get this right here which says VMware Workstation Pro which has right here I already have some OSS OS X's but um, I'm gonna show you how to build it now so what you're going to do first of all is when you have this you're gonna go online and you're gonna search for GitHub, you're going to search for GitHub, um, uh, VMware Unlocker. And once you have this right here, you're going to click on the Dr. Donk Unlocker. And as you can see, you're going to go to Releases, and you're going to press on the zip file. You're going to download the zip file, and then you're going to press open file. Now you have to make sure that VMware is closed when you're doing this. So completely close it out. And then after you close it, you're going to go to Windows. Well, first you've got to extract all. And then you're going to go to Windows, and you're going to go to Unlock. And you're going to go to Run as Administrator, More Info, and Run Anyway. And then you're going to press Yes and it's going to go into this window and it's going to say press enter key to continue and you're going to press the enter key and now as you can see if you now go and X both of these out and go into your VMware Workstation Pro you can see if you press create a new virtual work, steam, a work machine and you press this you press typical and then you do the ISO. All this is in the description, so I have it in documents and macOS Montori. You're gonna press open and then you're gonna press next. And as you can see now Apple Mac OS X is an option now. You're gonna select a Mac OS 12, and you're gonna press next, and then you're gonna press next again. And you're gonna select how much space you want on it. I'm going to do 100 gigabytes because that's like all I have. And you're going to press store virtual disk as a single file. Make sure you select that. And you're going to press next. And then you're going to press finish. And you can customize the hardware later because we're going to do this first. Now what you're going to do is 
As you can see, if you try to power on the virtual machine, it will start to power on, but then you will get a pop-up. The CPU has been disabled by the guest operating system. Power off or reset the virtual machine. This is because it does not accept AMD. So we needed to trick it into thinking that it has an Intel processor. And in order to do that, we need one line of code. So, like I said, all of this is going to be in the description. So, I'm going to have this link as a paste bin. And this right here. And you're going to press enter. And then right here, you have your text that you're going to you're going to copy this. You're going to copy all eight lines. And you're going to press copy. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to go into your files. And then you're going to go into documents and virtual machines. And it's going to say macOS 12. It's going to say macOS 12, but I got to do the two because I already created two of them. So... You're just going to say Mac OS 12. So you're going to tap this. And then you're going to tap open. You're going to right click. And then you're going to tap open with. And you have to select open with notepad. <clears throat> and after you select an open with notepad, you're going to paste what we just copied right at the bottom right here. And then you're going to press file, save and you're going to press X. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back into your Workstation Pro and you're going to now attempt to power it on. And once you power it on, as you can see, it goes straight to here and it starts to boot up. So we're going to wait for this to boot up. So as you can see, it has booted. So we're going to go right to view and we're going to tap full screen. And as you can see, you are now inside of the booting section. So you're going to tap English and you're going to go to next. And you're going to look and you're going to be in this screen. Now you're going to go to disk utility, continue. And then you're going to, it says VMware, virtual, SATA, hardware, hard drive, media. And it's going to have around 100 gigabytes, which is how much I put. So you're going to press erase. And you're going to press format, APFS, and GUID partition map. And you're going to put Mac OS 12. So, we're going to put OS, OS, 12, and you're going to press erase. And it's going to erase very quickly. And then you're going to go disk utility and quit disk utility. Now you're going to go to install macOS monitory. Once you have did that, you're going to tap continue. And then you're going to press agree. And then you're going to press continue again. 
and you're going to wait until this installs. So we will wait. And after all of this is installed, you are going to let it restart, and it's going to go through a installation process that can take up to an hour depending on the speed of your computer. And once that is done, you can go and start installing Mac OS as you would normally, and you would set it up as you would on a real Mac. And that is how you install macOS on your computer. Thanks for watching, and bye.